everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be going over a big and tall gaming chair. So let's get started. So before we get started on the review for the chair, one thing that I've noticed is that most of the people that view my content are not actually subscribers. I would love if you would just take a moment to subscribe, like this video, and click the notification icon that way you know whenever I come out with new content. Okay everybody, like you saw in the beginning of the video, today we're gonna to be going over the AK Racing Max Pro Big and Tall Gaming Chair. Me being six foot 10 and 340 pounds, it is not easy to find a gaming chair that's good with a budget, but I think I might've found it. There are super, super nice chairs out there like the Herman Millers and stuff like that that are very expensive. They're great ergonomically, but not economically, if you know what I'm saying. So this chair I actually got on MassDrop, which is now known as drop.com. And it's one of those websites where people buy in bundles, so it reduces the price of the item that you're buying. However, it's not always available because a lot of people have to request that product. But what you can do is actually sign up for notifications so when the product becomes available, they'll let you know through email. This chair I got for $300. $300 for a chair meant for big and tall people. That blew my mind whenever I came across the price. I was looking at minimum, minimum $500, probably looking up closer to a thousand for a decent chair that's meant for big and tall people. However, this is a great budget option. Not only is this chair very wide and comfortable, it also has plenty of depth for your legs. It almost goes all the way out to my knees, which is really, really nice. Uh, and I'm able to sit back and it feels like I'm sitting in a normal chair. I've said it once and I'll say it again, this must be what it's like to feel like a normal person. It has your normal up and down features. It has adjustable arms here, but one of my favorite things, check this out. Oh, it has a recline feature. How nice is that? And it actually feels pretty sturdy. So I don't actually use the recline feature a ton only because I know with me being a big old boy that eventually it's gonna wear on this chair and it's not gonna be good for it. So I typically just sit with it straight up like this. So I figured it might actually just be easier to show you with it actually on the desk, some of the bottom areas of the chair itself. What you'll notice right here is a solid metal foundation. Um, this is super necessary whenever you weigh a lot, and I've never had an issue with it feeling like it couldn't handle a decent amount of weight. See, a little dirty. Sorry about that. She's not brand new. Here you'll notice this is a nice wide seat cushion, so you've got plenty of room here, and it has these angled cushions right here that do not feel like they're compressing your sides at all. It's very, very comfortable. And also try to notice just how deep that is, because it all, like this right here, this pad sticks out a little bit extra, so it actually goes all the way, almost all the way to the back of my knees, and I have a 38 inch inseam, so pretty long legs. Here's your typical up and down lever that helps the chair go up and down. It was supposed to go down, I did that, but I forgot I'm not in it, so it needs a little bit of weight. This here is your recline lever for it to go back and forth like that. It's really nice to have that, even though I don't use it a ton. The handles actually completely move around a lot, you know, up and down. They move, they, I don't know if you can see this, they turn side to side like this, uh, and front and back, front and back. Here in the back, you'll notice these little Velcros right here. That's because on the inside of the chair, it comes with a nice padded lumbar support that's adjustable. So you can put it as high or low as you actually need it and, it, and it makes it really comfortable. Now it does also come with a little pillow for the head cushion. However, I stick out above the chair a little bit, so I don't really use it or need it. You also have this lever right here, which is actually just a locking mechanism. This allows, I don't know if I can do it without sitting in it, so I can't actually show you what this does without sitting in the chair. However, what it does is it allows the back of the chair to sink down so you can kind of lean back without actually using the recline lever over here. You can do both and almost lay out like flat completely. Um, however, if you just want to kind of sit back a little bit, put a little bit more of that weight on your lower back, leaning into the back of the chair, that's what this lever is for and it's a locking lever so you can stay that way once you get there. You'll also notice that this actually has a nice extended area headrest right here that you can lean back into. Uh, whenever you're playing your games and I lean back into this thing and just kind of rest my neck all the time. So let me sit in it so you can actually see what it looks like. So as you can see, it looks like a normal sized chair. Uh, it's super comfortable, it's nice and wide and I just barely feel those slanted uh, pads right here, but it kind of makes me feel supported. The lumbar pad right here actually works really well. I do feel like the cushion's gonna wear out pretty easily over time. However, I like having just something pressing against my lower back whenever I'm leaning back and playing games. 
Like I said, on this lever right here, I couldn't use it a second ago because I wasn't sitting in it. The one on the left side allows you to sink down like this. So you can just chill, lean back, and feel pretty good. Okay, so here you'll see drop.com, the website that I got the chair from. Unfortunately, the chair is not available currently, but you can click the request button and it'll notify you whenever it does become available. You'll also see in the description of the chair that it says the weight limit is 400 pounds. I'm at 340 pounds and I've never felt like there was an issue like I was gonna cause too much wear and tear on the chair. Also on this website, you can see additional pictures of the chair. Uh, there's also a footrest that you can order as an option. Uh, and there's also different color schemes you can order. Do note that I actually have the pro version, which has all the same color schemes, but it's actually meant for bigger and taller people. It does cost an extra $30, but whenever you're looking for chairs in this price range, that's really not that bad of a deal. Okay, so let me know what your thoughts are on this chair in the comments below. So after having this thing for a year, I'm very impressed with it. For $300, I've already gotten more than what I expected to get out of it. Cause I've had chairs in the past where like when you move around and stuff, it just starts cracking and popping cause it's not ready for the weight and it doesn't have the full back support like this one does, being able to lean into it. Um, but this is a great pickup for the price. Until I can get one of those really nice, expensive, multi-thousand dollar chairs, this is gonna do great for me for extended gaming periods. Like I said, the only drawback is really having to wait on it. You can go on drop.com and actually request it, uh, and whenever it comes out, it'll notify you. So thanks so much for coming by today. I hope this review was of value to you. And if it is, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and also hit the little notification bell so that you know when more videos come out. My schedule has changed a little bit on uploads. I was doing every Thursday and Sunday. However, due to my work schedule, that just became tough to do and actually put out quality content. So I've slowed down a little bit, started working on the quality of what I'm putting out a little bit more and uploading at least once a week. So I will be uploading at least every Sunday, but I'm also going to shoot for the occasional Thursday as I come across like company products to review uh, and, and other series that I'm in the process of creating as well. So stay tuned and you'll see what's next for Freaky Tall Reviews. Also, be sure to leave in the comments below what you'd like to see me review. One of the new series that I'm starting is called Does It Work for Big and Tall? And that's going to be me going over products that are not designed for big and all people to see if they actually work for us. So stay tuned for that. I've got a video coming out very soon so you can take a look. Thanks so much for coming by today. It means a ton that you were willing to spend your time with me. Again, I'm Corey from Freaky Tall Reviews. We'll see you next time.